So is AI technology here to stay and is it going to help us grow our side hustle, our business? Um, I think so. You know, it's kind of uh, progressed into something way more than what we thought was what we saw in the movies. You know, so guys, if you're just joining in, my name is Jacob. This is the Stitch and Hustle podcast show that I'm doing on the Leather Nation channel. So we're talking about whether or not AI technology can help you in your side hustle and your business. And y'all, if you have not checked out Chat GPT, go check it out. Especially for your side hustle, your business. Um, there's some really cool stuff with it and especially if you're a content creator on top of that, like if that's your main gig is being a content creator or if you just make the occasional videos and you need some ideas. Um, so I'm logged in here. I wish I could do a split screen to show you guys, but so chat GPT is a AI, uh, it's just an AI generator. Like it, uh, you can pretty much put anything in there that you want to spit out an answer, a topic, write you a paper. You know, if you're if you're doing a podcast, if you're doing any type of short form videos, like if if you want to type in, uh, give me. Let's see. Let's do this. Give me five video ideas for Leathercraft. And this isn't to completely separate yourself from your own ideas. This is just to give you some inspiration to make content uh, if that's what you're doing. So I just typed this in and it's spitting out five different ones, leather working tools and their uses, leather tutorials, uh, leather product reviews, project uh, walkthroughs, uh, leather craft business you know, advice. Like it, it's a wide range of Of topics and you know instead of just dealing with you know one thing you can kind of join all those all together and make your own out of it so a lot of people aren't too fond of AI technology you know um, if you've ever seen iRobot that might deter you from you know using uh, AI technology, but, um, again, if you're a content creator where you can say, Hey, uh, um, give me a description of how to make a minimalist wallet. Let's see what it spits out. And this is this is the area that I need more more help in than anything is I need I need a, a quick breakdown, you know, that I can take a look at, I can edit. So like it's giving me a step by step guide on how to make a minimalist wallet. It's telling me you need the leather, you need the ruler, straight edge, cutting mat, knife. Uh, your hole punch, which I would, you know, edit that to like your stitching or pricking irons, um, your thread, needle, burnishing tool, mallet, and then it goes into to the instructions. And of course, they're not like my instructions. Like I would go in there and tweak those. Um, you know, so it's not it's not perfect to to just me. 
And I don't think it it's going to be perfect for just like straight copy and paste into your uh, into your blog, into your um, your instructions. If you're a leather worker or woodworker, like you're still going to have to do some work to kind of plug that in. Um, morning, morning from Arizona. Uh, leather Smith vlogs. Heck yeah. Um, so yeah, you're, you're still going to have to do some work. Um, and, and that's what I want. I want people to understand that they can use AI technology like chat GPT as another tool rather than it do all the work for you. Um, you know, uh, let's see. And guys, if you're in the comments, you know, uh, tell me, Hey, what, what would you like, you know, I'll put something into this uh, this AI simulator or this generator, see what it spits out. But um, the other day I was like, hey, uh, give me a list of 10 hashtags for leather beginners. And, and this, this isn't just for leather craft. This can be applied to anything. You know, it doesn't have to be just that. It could be, uh, give me 10 hashtags on uh, on uh, real estate investment. Um, it could be, give me, uh, give me five ideas on videos for homesteading, gardening, um, I, it it doesn't matter. Um, so I'm doing 10 hashtags for Leathercraft. Let's see. Here we go. Uh, hashtag Leathercraft, Leatherworking, Handmade Leather, DIY Leather, Leathercrafting, Leather Art, Leather Goods, Leather Love, Leather Studio, Leather Projects. And I, I get it. You're not going to use all of them, or you may. Um, again, you know, you can copy, paste, tweak them, choose the ones that you want. Maybe, maybe you only need five hashtags, um, and you're like, okay, give me ten, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick the the best five. Um, so it's not just for you know giving you you know, phrases and hashtags. Um, it's guys if you don't know much about ai technology chat gpt and stuff like that it's pulling information from the internet and trying to compile the best results um so difference between chrome 10 and veg tan leather Let's see if I can. F I don't do enough lives to figure out how to change this. Camera. Otherwise, I'd show you guys. But it is literally spitting out. The difference between chrome Ted and veg tan leather. And this is something that I really, like I said, I think content creators can really benefit from or anybody that is getting into, whether it's, you know, long form content on other platforms or it's short videos where you're, you don't want just to know the difference between, say, Chrome 10 and Veg 10 Leather. Like you want a breakdown of specific topics that you can talk about, you know, and, and kind of guide you through that, that process. Um, let's see guys. Honestly, wish I could figure out <laughs> how to turn the camera on for, around.
Okay, all right, ignore this mess here. So I'm gonna show you all right here. Again, this is, it says chat open AI, but if you do a Google search for uh, chat GPT, so let's do 10 hashtags for, let's do beginner woodworkers. For beginner woodworking. Just like that. So you got woodworking, woodworking community, DIY woodworking, beginner woodworking, woodworking tips, projects, tools, woodworking for beginners. Um, give me five video ideas. for beginner woodworkers or be beginner woodworking. And like I said, it's, it's more in depth than just spitting out some topics. Like it's gonna give you a little bit of extra. So woodworking tools 101 how to build basic workbench, wood joinery techniques, how to finish wood, uh, your wood finishing, wood safety tips. So like here, wood woodworking safety tips, like that's one of the suggestions, but then it goes in further. Safety should always be a top priority when woodworking, with woodworking and woodworking tools. In this video, you can provide an overview of important safety tips and practice for beginner woodworking, including proper tool usage, proper gear, and workspace organization. I was like, this is perfect. Like, like you, you really don't even have to do anything to that. Like, it's ready to go. Like, you have your your video, and now you just have to take that and kind of run with it. You know. Um, Let's see. And as I try to figure out how to flip the camera again. Well, let's give it a second. Let's try let's try another one here. And guys, if you're just joining in, this is the AI uh, generator chat GPT. We're talking about how you can incorporate this into your side hustle, your business, especially if you're a content creator. Um, let's see, what's the best time to plant a garden? Like. Any, anybody out there plant gardens? Um, or maybe... Maybe you're just trying to find some answers. And that's all you want to use. It's like you don't even have to use it for your side hustle. But... Like, you know... And, and for me, I don't, I don't plant gardens. So I can't tell you if this information is correct, but here's the thing, what I have seen for like leather craft and side hustles and hashtags and everything else, like it's crazy. Um, it, it's crazy how accurate it is. So, But like I said, you shouldn't use the whole thing. I don't, in my opinion, you shouldn't use AI technology, chat GPT to run everything. Like you still should use it as a tool to give you inspiration. 
Um, looking at some of my uh, previous topics that I've entered in, um, I put uh, laser side hustle tips. Um, making money with the laser, you know, I just to get your your brain to spark, like to get an idea from certain topics. I that's what I want to use this for. Um, the other thing is, I did a a video on. CO2 lasers versus fiber lasers. And so if you don't know too much about that, like there's some significant differences between the two. And yes, I could take the time to to search it and gather the information, break it down, make a video. But if you're trying to crank out a lot of videos, you can type this in and here's the thing you know if you want to verify a few things like in my opinion if you're doing a video you should at least know what you're talking about and so i can type in the co2 versus fiber laser and have a breakdown of what i'm talking about i can go through that and i can at least verify the information and be like okay uh yeah, you know, CO2 lasers use this type of gas. Uh, advantages of using a CO2 laser, you can cut this material, this material, and that material. And as long as I'm verifying that, like I'm not just using chat GPT and AI technology just to give me information without verifying it. Like I think that's, you know, a horrible way to go about it. So if you are doing it, at least do your research, you know, prior and use this again as a tool to give you a, a structured outline. Um, like I said, it's not, it might not be a hundred percent all the time, but at least for what I'm doing for side hustle related stuff, um, leather craft, lasers, stuff like that, it's pretty spot on. Um, so if you're looking for a way to get inspiration um i think it's a, a good way to to look at ai technology um and again it, this can be applied to any type of hobby side hustle content creator um anything like that like you can You can do some really cool stuff. Um, if you're just joining in, let me know. I'm working on uh, the OpenAI Chat GPT. Um, but how's it going from Indiana? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how you landed either. But yeah, we're just talking about AI technology in your side hustle, in your business. Um, how you can implement it, especially if you're a content creator. Um, Yo, let's see. How? Let's see. Steps to growing a successful business. And again, like it's spitting out, you define your vision and mission, develop a solid business plan, build a strong team, focus on customer satisfaction, create a strong brand identity, develop and execute effective marketing strategies, monitor your finances closely. Like these are things that, that aren't wrong. You know, these are still legitimate topics 
for growing a successful business. But does it fit your your brand? Does it fit how you distribute information? You know, um, you know, like focus on customer satisfaction. You know, uh, or uh, monitor your finances closely. You know, maybe you're restructuring this for your own, for your, for content creation and you need to add in, you know, monitor your analytics. Um, maybe it's not just, uh, about your finances. You need to incorporate, uh, a little bit more because your analytics, um, your analytics have something to do with your finances. Because if you're new to content creation and you're looking at your finances and you see that the money coming in, your profit, your cash flow, your income, these are all topics that I'm reading, uh, aren't there. Well, you might want to look at your analytics and see what it's saying. Because if people aren't watching or sharing, then you might have to adjust there. So... Chat GPT, AI technology, is it taking over? I don't know. Maybe. Like I said, iRobot could be a thing. But for right now, we're just using this open source AI technology to just help us grow. So, um... Unfortunately, I'm not any type of fancy enough to need that. Well, you know, uh, not not everybody needs it. I get that. Um, you know, and I really didn't think I needed it either. You know, but it sure helps to just gain gain some ideas um, for upcoming videos and. Like I said, you don't have to use every one of them. Uh, five woodworking techniques. For video ideas. So we got hand tooling techniques, joinery techniques, carving techniques, turning techniques. And it doesn't even matter if you use all these, like it's not about that. But let's say that you do carving techniques. You can talk about the, uh, what type of tools, what you know, hand tools, power tools, um, carving, what it takes to shape and sculpt the wood. Like if you really struggle with trying to figure out how to explain something, maybe you already have the idea, but you just need help explaining, then... A AI can help you kind of explain that. Um, you know, if you do podcasts, you know, and this is this is something that I'm working on. So I didn't do it this time, but the last time I did a uh, podcast. So give me a podcast outline. For how just to start a leather craft business.
again, you you know the answers to the question. Like I'm not trying to steal the answers you know, to the test. I'm just trying to generate the outline, verify the information, and share it with you guys. So here I have how to start a leather craft business. It gives me the introduction. It's telling me, hey, how to you know intro to the you know as the host to your guests. Uh, introduction of the topic, you know, what are you going to say? Segment one, why start a leather craft business? And then not only that, not only that, let's flip the camera here. So you can see here how to start a leather craft business. My introduction, first segment, and then it's breaking down what to do in that segment. Second, third, fourth, fifth, conclusion, summarize, key points. Your outro. Thank your listeners for tuning in. Provide contact information. You can get a hold of me through my website. Link in the description. Da, 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 da. If you enjoy this content, you're getting value. Hey, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit follow. Rate, review the podcasts on their preferred platform. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Yo, is this something that you think you could use in in your uh, in your side hustle, your business? You know, whether or not you're a content creator or not, you know, um, maybe you just need to know a little bit of information. You know, maybe you're, maybe you're writing a blog and you just need to know what the difference is between... You know, I'm trying to think, uh, oil-based paint and water-based paint. Oh, you should be obvious, right? But maybe you want a little bit more. So not only is it telling me, you know, what's in it, you know, the primary difference, you know, oil base uses oil base, you know, da, 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 such as linseed oil, mineral spirits. But then it's going into the dry time, like it elaborates on your topic. So it's telling me that the dry time of oil based paint is, you know, this much uh, fumes and odor, uh, the cleanup. Finish and durability, environmental impact. Crazy. And it's all within just a few seconds. And it's giving me information that I can use on a blog post to create a video. Whether it's short form, long form. You guys, I just don't, I don't think you understand how powerful this technology is. And right now, this is free. Chat GPT is free. And it is perfect for the content creator. It is perfect for the side hustler the business owner yo um lay out a team meeting on safety topics in the workplace
So I've got my introduction, my presentation on general safety topics, and then it breaks that down. And then safety topics relevant to the team. And then like it, it keeps breaking it down and then you have a Q&A session like, again, you don't have to use AI technology, chat GPT, for just um, for just video. Like you can apply this to your own job. Yo, um, five ways I can be more efficient. Or how about this? Five ways I can better budget my finances. Create a monthly budget. Prioritize your expenses like I just, you know they're not wrong. It's just how you want to use it. What do you want to use it for? And does it help you grow? Does AI technology like chat GPT help you grow? It depends on the question, the topic, the phrase that you put in. You still have to know a base of what you're looking for. So check it out, guys. Chat GPT, AI technology. Whether you're a content creator, whether you're a business owner, blogger, vlogger. If you just need an outline for your video ideas or you need some video ideas. It's a great way to start. So I'm going to hop off. I appreciate everyone joining in today and listening. Be sure to hit that follow button, subscribe, hit your like button if you got value out of this content. We'll see you next time. Bye.